this this not real. Oh, got it. He got it, y'all. Well, this meeting is being live streamed, which means we made it. Hey Facebook, hey Facebook, we made it, we made it. <laughs> How's it going? You guys enjoying the weather? Um, to you guys, hello, hello from the Mass Studios. Oh, you know what? I haven't made just made you the host. Yay. We don't make the same mistakes. Okay. So does that view, is that view, uh, how is that view set up? Is the conference room you see it? Through? Yeah. Okay. All righty. Well, it looks like we're live. Hello, hello, Florence Up Show. The weather has changed on us and we are burning, and burning. And burning. Oh. <laughs> Hey guys, hey guys, how you doing? This is how we come in. We come in smiling. I need to stress. Mm -hmm. stroke, all that stuff. A few okay. minutes, a lot of minutes. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, let's get this straight. They don't want to hear this echo the rest of the evening. So let's do something about it. Hey, overseer, hey, overseer, thumbs up. Oh, to the girl. Always something. Right. Tell me they didn't be out toast last week. Mm -hmm. We gonna fix it's that. Right. Yes, we are. Uh-oh, uh oh. It's happening, it's happening. Uh -oh. <laughs> are we there yet? Hey guys, hey guys, it's your girl, it's your girl, and you know who that is. Palms up. Hey, overseer, why don't you bring them in with a good word this week while I share the feed and let them know we made it, we made it. Oh, hey, okay, the okay. perfect image of God. We made it, we made it. Palms up, guys out there. We're so sorry for being late. I tell you, I tell you, the weather's changed. And I don't know. We're going to have to figure out how to do this outside because these lights, camera, action. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys. This is real. This is real this week. If you joined us last week, of course you did. Um, please invite a friend to join us. we got some real stuff to talk about. So we came in real light today because we got some heavy stuff. Before we jump into it, we are going to introduce you to our community partner here in the Prince George's County area where we do our Palms Up show yes. at the Mad Studio. You know we about mindfully making a difference everywhere we go. Tell them overseas. We do make a difference. I hope y'all got y'all there for vitamin D in because it was a beautiful day outside. You still got a couple of minutes. Today's word is wonderful. And we are wonderfully made. We're going into spring. And then springtime is new things take place. So I hope you're excited. This is the season for change and growth and pruning. And things will get better, I promise you. Just patiently wait. Be anxious for nothing. Anxious for nothing. Sometimes we can be so anxious that we, we miss the mark because we're so busy trying to calculate and do things, but I'm telling you, if you just patiently wait and slowly work through things, it will get better. It will get better. Palms up, everybody. Palms up. Hey. How has your week been going? Hey. Come on, respond. Let us know how's your week been going. How's your day been? Uh, you know, sometimes this time of the year, um, the pressure starts to sit back in again because changes are coming. Um, this is the time of year for those parents and some of your kids are seniors and you're getting ready for prom and they're getting ready to graduate. Some are getting ready to go off to college. And where's your mental health with that? Because that is a mm. shift that comes in your life. You know, you're always planning for your children to get grown and get on your own. But when it really comes, how are you handling it? Get that partner so you can talk about it because it can be an emotional roller coaster. 
Just remember that you are wonderful and it will get better. Ooh, amen. I like that message. I like that matter. message. Just remember you are wonderful and it will get better. Well, guys, well, guys, as you know, as you know, we spent the entire month of March repping out beautiful women. Whoop, whoop. I know our men are sick of it. I saw something out there that said men's mental health matter too, don't you know? Absolutely, absolutely. And we're going to celebrate our brothers. As a matter of fact, we're going to let our beautiful guest tonight kick it off. Hey, guys, hey, guys, join me in welcoming a beautiful soul from the community. He's our community partner here in Prince George's County, as I said earlier. Um, he's a veteran. I'm a daughter of a veteran, so I love to connect with my military family. Shout out to my dear father, Ronald David Williams. God bless him. Miss him every day, and I am the splitting image of him, especially when my hair is all sweating like this, you know, <laughs> just like his man, she child. No, I'm just <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> up. You know, you gotta be able to laugh at yourself. You know what it is. You know what it is. It's your girl. It's your girl. You know, I don't care about that vanity, but you know, hey Saeed, can you hear us in there? I can hear you very well. Thank you so much. All right. I think we gotta adjust your volume because I can barely hear you. I'm gonna send Charles back to adjust your volume if it's okay. Sure. Will you adjust the volume for Mr. Saeed? Hey guys, while we're waiting for Mr. Saeed. Uh, volume to be adjusted. I want you to know that tomorrow they're rallying. And so it was important enough for us to hold up before we brought you this word tonight because we want to get better about letting you know what's going on out there. Hey guys, hey guys, grab a friend. Tonight we're talking about addiction. That's right, addiction. For those of you that don't know, May is mental health awareness. And I figure we might as well roll right into May with the understanding and the empowerment that's needed out in the community. Pay no attention. They're taking him offline long enough to be able to adjust the volume. But in the meantime, we want you guys to know that, as Pastor said, it's real out there. Yes, it it's real out there. You mm -hmm. are wonderful in the image that God made you. And sometimes it gets rough. Weather's changing. Uh, thank goodness our folks don't have to sleep in the cold. However, mm -hmm. we don't want our folks sleeping in the elements at all. Palms up. Palms up. All right. You know, you know, it's your girl. It's your girl. It's where we come to get that realness for an hour. So, guys, if you can sit back and give us about another 40 minutes of your time, I promise you it'll be worth it. We are on a mission to bring this mental health message. I don't have a camera, so you got to go back and put them on camera. Yes, yes. you do. Yes, yes, you do. We, we, be, working. we be working. We be working. I'll tell you, folks. I'm saying, poor Charles and all our little fellas. <laughs> guys, the Healthy DTME leadership is on a mission. We are... Uh, going to be on the smart tv network so we are as palms up the anchor holding down the network until we can get over to our smart tv network and you're going to see a lot of people coming to our platform so we've been in the background really really busy if you are interested in getting involved with mental health outreach work from today's society modern understandings then i want you guys to understand that the uh outreach work continues so what I'd like to do is to find out what's going on with the camera. And I guess I have to be a one woman <laughs> show because we don't see, I see him here. Know. I don't see him there. What's going on with your phone? Slide it over for me, please. Oh, you know what? It's dark. I see him at the bottom. For some reason, there's no light. Is there a light on in the room? There it is. is. All right. Move, move, move. Go on. Put it back, please. And get on up out of the way. Thank you. Thank you. That's how we talk with y'all. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm just having a little fun because it really has been a rough day. We really do have a lot going on. There's so much going on. And in all serious, in all seriousness, Saeed is a veteran that works out here in our Prince George's County, Maryland area. Saeed is uh, in the community. He's the CEO of In the Community. Um, and it's a television um, media uh, agency. And I'm going to let him talk to you a little bit more about it. And what I love about it is that he gives opportunity to our veterans out there. And because we have so many returned citizens coming back to the area looking to be useful and looking to be able to um, branch out, learn a craft, learn a trade, a skill set. Guys, we've been listening. We've been paying attention. And the truth of the matter is, once we get this housing situation 
boy, it doesn't seem like we have a will. But once we can get it stabilized, folks have to be able to be have sustainable income and they have to be able to have careers and understanding that they can hold on to. And we get that. The comprehensive system of mental wellness care involves us being able to help every life that we touch and help guide them to a higher standard of living. So we make fun, we make light, we try not to be too heavy or uptight. So if you are an on-time person, I know we're getting on your nerves. <laughs> up. But life is too short. We did a show and we talked about holding in emotions and the different organs that you're impacting and affecting. Yeah. That's real. That's real. Somebody is not with us today. Somebody didn't make it, somebody didn't wake mm -hmm. up with us, and somebody won't wake up with us tomorrow, and it may be one of us. So the reality is that we've got to learn how to start practicing stronger habits. I'm giving Mr. Saeed time, and when you're ready, Mr. Saeed, please give me a signal. Guys, tonight's show, we're going to talk about addiction. Before we do that, I thought it was appropriate, we thought it was appropriate to introduce you to our community partner out here in Prince George's County, who is stomping for our vets, stomping for our citizens, for our small businesses alike. Uh, like he is making sure to keep the plight of our veterans in the forefront, because many of our veterans deal with the same challenges that you hear us talking mm -hmm. about. How in the world did you go over and fight for your country or stay here and protect what's at home, our yeah. freedoms, and not be given priorities? I heard a commentary the other day that says, how must it feel to go out and fight for your country, sacrifice your family and life, limb, and come home and you got to stand in line to get mental health services that are not complete that are not adequate mm -hmm. you're looking for housing out there palms up to all our veterans being the daughter of a veteran i know the plight many of you who know my story know that i lost my dear father a beautiful soldier and a beautiful soul um to his addiction to heroin heroin which we call opioids now so we're going to talk tonight about addiction in general there are so many folks out there so many families out there struggling in our show last week we uh, had a beautiful soul, my mother-in-law, and she came on to talk about her struggle as a mother challenged with an adult son who's going through and coming back. And God bless my dear brother-in-law, but he's had some challenges out there and we are all going through this. We all recognize it. And one of the things that her message reminded me of is the big mamas back in yeah. the day. Our big mamas, they kept it 100. So they all did. this you know, taking the parents out of the school so they don't have a say on what's going on with the children. All this uh, keeping our children exposed to the violence and the uh, 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 economic situations that are going on out there. We've got to stand up and step up. And the Palms Up Show, the Healthy DCME Leadership Coalition, um, and all of our community partners are committed to creating higher standards of living for our families. And the first thing is to start making sure you're educated about those eight essentials of wellness. I hope you're doing your work out there. All right, guys, without any further ado, and I thank you for being patient. I want to give everybody time to get in place, just in case you're running like we are. <laughs> we always running, but we always right on time, right? Saeed, why don't you come in and talk to us? I understand. Welcome, first and foremost. I'm sorry, we're right to business. How's it going, sir? And welcome to the Palms Up Show. Palms Up to you. Our platform where we yeah, wrap our is, community is, leaders. This is how you want you to come on and give us a brief history about who you are, what you do out here in the community, and how you came up with the concept of in the community television uh, agency. Well, first of all, I want to thank you, Dr. Rhonda Hamilton, for a lovely job you're doing. You and your colleagues are doing a great Come job. Um, you know, it's, it's all about number one. Um, what we have to offer as a veteran organization. In the community TV came about because we saw the disparity with veterans, especially veterans of my complexion. Uh, we saw veterans um, getting hit and getting killed like mm -hmm. deers in the street. And nobody was doing nothing about it. And mm -hmm. when I did something about it, they tried to arrest me because mm -hmm. I was supposed to bring this to attention. So out of that came We The Veterans TV Show, and we launched it with some veterans 
who no longer here um, mm. and, and listen to in the community TV. Real quick, we jumped to the start for tomorrow, launching Honor and Before Sergeant you, Whitney. Oh, one minute, Sadie, before you jump to the morning, sorry to cut you off. I wanted to understand, you can hit the volume on this time. Just a little bit. Guys, thank you for being patient with us. As long as you can see us this week, we are stepping in the right direction. I'm not sure why. That's good. Not sure why we're having these camera issues and the uh, uh, feedback. We're gonna work with y'all. We're gonna work with y'all. Thank you, guys. Saeed, you talked about launching your in the community agency with some veterans that are no longer here. How long has your agency been going? We've been um, basically over 10 years right now. We've wow. been um, basically in different states. We've been from New York all the way down to Florida, from Virginia all the way to California, and basically state to state, city to city, community to community, working with veterans and the family and communities in different states. So it give us a chance to really home in on helping veterans who actually in the woods, um, places where veterans fall through the cracks. So we actually go out there, talk to these veterans, bring them in, get them service, and work with the hospitals and other places. We had the pleasure of also working with your organization. One of the people that we know, your guys actually help. So we applaud your guys for helping not only the veterans, but for the community as well. So y'all did a great job. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now, you were talking about tomorrow. I just wanted to give folks a chance to understand your dedication. Um, you're the mayor over here, and that <laughs> you know that should be a compliment coming from the woman that just finished stopping across D.C. in a mayoral race. But I tell you, you're the mayor out here, sir. Well, I, I think my hat's off to you, doctor. <laughs> I, I bow down to you because basically <laughs> what you have done, you've been doing a tremendous job, and we're looking forward to teaming up with your organization. Um, we, as a veteran organization, me as a veteran, a disabled veteran, uh, we talk about um, the unseen wounds. Uh, we talk about veterans who you, you will see who look normal, but we have handicaps, right? So, <clears throat> pardon me, how do we get those veterans and other veterans help? Um, a lot of veterans and their family fall through the cracks because they don't have the right questions. They don't have the right knowledge to ask the right questions, so mm -hmm. they don't get the right answer. So what happens is our job to put it out there, put the information out there. Like a lot of veterans don't know that if you can actually get 30, be compensated 30% just for athlete fee. You can be compensated 30% for 30 what? 30% just for athlete fee. How many veterans out there know that? Wow. I challenge, I challenge a lot of veterans out there. How, how many veterans know that you can actually put in a claim for athlete fee? That, that's, that's pretty cool. I bet a lot of them don't know. I, I know many veterans that are challenged when they put in their um, claims. Usually, a lot of them are turned down initially. I've, mm -hmm. I've heard that that's customary, and a lot of folks get discouraged, I understand. So can you speak to your knowledge of that process? Well, they, they just did an investigation. As a matter of fact, we're talking about an investigation that just, just took place. Um, the I, um, Channel 4 and a couple of other networks, NBC, they launched an uh, investigation on why veterans, my complexion, have a disparity of getting their benefits. Now, this is, this is what I got to say, first of all. I'm a veteran. I'm a veteran for all veterans, right? Um, when we go and do battle, protect this country, there's only 10% of veterans protecting 90% of this country. 10% protecting 90% of this country. So wow. there's some people who feel veterans is getting too much. Veterans, y'all getting too much um, benefits already. You know, y'all getting too much. So you have to understand the veterans who are now is being exposed that veterans who have my complexion are not receiving their equal, equal compensation compared to their white 
counterparts. All right. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying to you is that we need to address this. When you see the disparity of money, growth, economics, community, that money helps. When the veterans do not get their benefits, their family hurts, the community hurts. So it's a when you know when when if the veterans get their benefits. So that's pretty much our mission is make sure the veterans, the veteran family, and the community benefits because that's jobs in the community. That's health, that's education, that's the support that the community needs. So you're talking about crime. Well, one way to commit, uh, take away this crime, bring that crime level down is jobs, right? Mm -hmm. But when you have a certain party and certain people talking about pulling back social support, mm -hmm. that hurts the veteran, it hurts the veteran family, and it hurts the community. Again, everyone loses. So when you help a veteran, you give a veteran the support, they need the, 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 the help that they earn, that mm -hmm. they earn, then that helps the veteran, the veteran family and the community. So mm -hmm. often you see a lot of veterans homelessness because why? They didn't get the support. That is generational. When that veteran from World War I, World War II, all these veterans, Korean War, do not mm -hmm. get support, they never got, that falls down to the family. The family don't get the support. Then what happened to the children? The children don't get the support. So now you got a whole gap again that's been created by those people. Now mind you, this investigation found out. The VA knows this. <laughs> the VA knows that this is happening. So um, with the help of um, um, the brother uh, Clyde Byrne and another Republican, they came up with um, a team who's actually looking into this issue, right? The problem is they still haven't found out when it's gonna happen. So you got this team finding out, yes, there's a disparity going on. There is some injustice being done, but um, we don't know uh, when the fight is gonna take place. We, well, we don't I want, I want you to talk about the fight, but I wanna make sure, and thank you for breaking that down. It's so disheartening to hear that. You know, I love doing this show because I love being able to bring the stories forward. You guys are so awesome in your work. I know that we're out here doing a great work, but when I am able to showcase all of the wonderful relationships that we have the pleasure of, of being introduced to and are like-minded and like mission, um, a lot of times we're sharing with our families and our colleagues that our work, um, it crosses all genres all populations because mental health mental wellness is is it, it affects all whether you're a veteran whether you're homeless whether you are a child having trouble in school whether you've been afflicted by some level of trauma domestic violence i mean the list goes on and on and so it's important that we recognize and share empathy for our veterans and show respect because you guys do a mighty thing. And I just want to take a moment to thank you for your service. I would like for us to get back to being a, a, a city, a, a community, a nation that properly shows up for our veterans because many of our veteran families sacrifice so much to be able to make sure that our freedoms are taken care of. And when we're over here, see, I, I'm a daughter of the military. Um, my first marriage being transparent was military. So I spent some time in Germany and that's why I sound like I do. Stop asking me where I'm from. War they for life, palms <laughs> up. But I traveled when I was young. So I guess I lost that slang that we have. But anyway, <laughs> um, I ain't lose it all. Ah. <laughs> Sorry about that, Saeed. Every now and then we got to keep it real. But the truth of the matter is that um, yeah. our veterans are suffering, period. Mm -hmm. And I have yet to run across someone to tell me that our veterans are already getting enough help when the level, how do you put a price tag on the sacrifice that they're making? I know so many, so many. 
that are fortunate not to have to go to war or even think about en enlisting because there are folks that are readily, ably, yeah. you know, showing up for the task. There are just so many soldiers and palms up to all of our soldiers out there. And I want to make sure yeah. to make the distinction. Our soldiers are men, women, uh, uh, trans, they, they, they're all different walks of life. And it's yeah. time that we recognize the human beings that put on that uniform, whether we understand it or not, our soldiers across the board deserve our heartfelt empathy. So uh, Saeed mentioned to me that they're gonna be rallying tomorrow. And you know the thing about our work and, and, and running for mayor and why I chose to do so, I know you know. <laughs> but we've got to elevate, we've got to pick a point where we draw a line in the sand. We're all standing around on the sideline professing to yeah. be upset about things, professing to care about things, professing that if we weren't Black and when they stormed the Capitol, all I kept hearing was, Oh, there was black people. Okay, so we know that. So now how do we advance the conversation? Because we get that. Everybody understands that. And we also understand that as a people of color and low income, low class, whatever, mm -hmm. low, period, minority is not getting a fair shake in America. And there's too much money in America. There's so many people getting upset. And I'm going to say it, getting upset because Trump is indicted when we got veterans, mm -hmm. veterans that, are fighting for their rights and that's ridiculous. So mm -hmm. Saeed, will you tell us a little bit about what's going on tomorrow and tell us how we can get involved and give us a phone number or some way to get in touch with you, please? Yeah, I, I like to do that, I love to do that. But again, first of all, again, Dr. Hamilton, big ups to you, much respect to you, what you're doing, hands up, palms up, fists up. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a fight right now. Um, the number one thing, everything you just said, it, it starts with a vote. It starts with the power to get political. It starts with that support. There's people out there who tell you that your vote do not matter. People That's right. that your vote do not matter. Why do you think these people are spending billions of dollars to stop you from voting? Billions of dollars to keep you from voting. Billions yeah. of dollars. You know what I'm saying? So when they spend billions of dollars, that's for them to control that money. Mm -hmm. Come on now, palms up. That's you know right. What I'm saying? All that money that goes to helping you, and they know the Justice Department is not equal. So when we don't vote, that's what you have. That's what you get. You get these people running up into the national capital because we are not participating in this process. That's you know, right. The ballot of the bullet, right? So we have a choice. If you wish to have a bloodless revolution, I'm sorry, God put this out there. People, do not listen to those people that says your vote don't matter. Your vote do right. matter. All right. Those politicians up there, they know that. They're gonna put money in somebody's pocket, tell you that your vote don't matter. That's right. A whole bunch of things in your community to stop you from saying your vote matters. So well, again, let's explore that. I don't want you to run past that. You made such a valid point. And yeah, since we yeah. went there, I mean, since we went there, let's just go ahead and take it there. They're going to use folks that look just like you, that do just what you do. So if you at the go-go, palms up, I bet they got a, a little trainer in that go-go oh, wow. making sure to recruit you and making sure you mm -hmm. understand that you with the popular side that ain't changing your life. So the social media craze and all these likes and I had somebody tell me, you running for all of you ain't even popular on social media. Uh -uh. I'm popular in my community. That's I'm popular it. in those households that I show up to that know that when they call, I'm going to pick the phone up and show up. I'm popular where it matters the most and that's with our people. And we've got to stop following all these trends that they spend all this money on research. Oh, yeah. Our dear mayor of Washington, D.C. Is, is, is a fan of outsourcing outsourcing money to agencies that going to study us. They're not from our area. They're going to they gonna call back and get in touch with agencies like ours yeah. at our leadership mm -hmm. and, and ask questions about you all and your trends and your habits 
And what do we think? So they can put their little nice little neat report together and say, okay, this is what you got to do to keep them contained. I'm just saying, somebody better talk about it, palms up. I'm telling you that DC city is on fire. Don't you fall for the okie doke. They yeah. are in the background trying to figure out that housing fiasco. They would leave a 79 year old with Parkinson's. Parkinson's yeah. and disabled realities couch surfing because they lost the application and now they can't figure out what or how to move fast enough to stabilize a 79 year old. Yeah. That's, that's and you keep thinking that the problems in this city are just about what's going on with the people of color. As I said before, and I'll continue to say, people of color do not own the struggle. We struggled. We've got issues, but if you got somebody in your life fighting harder for your rights than you, and you got the nerve not to be voting, and you got the audacity to be talking about what your children should be doing, well, it starts at home. Palms up. Mm -hmm. National Women's History Month has ended, and now it's time to get back to work, because when our women are strong and educated and motivated, Saeed, we know that we can stand and support our dear men, because yeah. society is always beating and dragging our brothers down. So we got work to do in our community overall. Is it just me or are some of these families getting a little lighter when it comes to our men? You're looking at yeah. your family tree, you're mm -hmm. seeing more women than our men. Yeah. Our men are suffering. Our men are dying. Our men are depressed. Our men are locked up. Come on, somebody, and talk about it out there. Why don't you? Palms up. Y'all better pay attention. We lost over 20,000, 20,000 people in the district during COVID. And it wasn't because of the death. They're relocating. Yes. I have it on authority. Don't you get locked up out there using that K2 and these drugs we're going to talk yeah. about tonight. You might find yourself in a mental health institution in another state. You think they won't do it? Mm -hmm. And many of our brothers that are homeless on the street that we are down greeting at the encampment when we were down supporting G, palms up to G and his BS movement. I want you guys to know that our soldiers after fighting for your freedom are sleeping in the street. Yeah, that's sad. Shame on you for thinking that you don't have to care. Palms up, I'm telling you, I heard a story. I'm going to keep talking, Saeed, because I want them to get the root of why it's important. I want them to go deep. See, we, we didn't got caught up in this social media and, and we can put hair in our head now. We can look how we want to look and get all pretty and don't have to care about the issue. But somebody, somebody stood in line for miles in order that you could have the right to be here today thinking you're something that you're not. You got to get back in touch with your community. They're not coming to save us. How long are the news stories coming on with the gun, guns going off? How many more bodies need to be found? How many more cars are going to be jacked? You guys have got to pay attention out there. It's happening in our community. It's happening to our people. And this is a wonderful soldier that showed up to the Palms Up platform yeah. tonight because he wants you to know he's not just talking about it. He's going to do something about it. Yeah. I got people out there that say, and they tired. I'm tired of all these meeting and rah, rah. Do something. Okay. Do something. You need more than just mouth. And keep your faith and know that if you do something, God is going to do the rest. Palms Up. All right, Saeed, so our brothers and our sisters, our soldiers, they need us tomorrow. We're rallying to fight for their rights. Will you please give us some details so that we can get our palms up viewers out there? And I'm asking y'all to share this feed. I don't care if you like me. I don't care if you like how I look. I don't care. I don't care. I don't come on for you to like me. I come on for you to respect me. I'd rather have your respect. And we're out here doing this work because we are a fractured community. When you got yes. 400,000 registered voters and only 120, 140 showing up, wrong. guys, come on. We're not going to change things. Our soldiers are not going to get out of the street. Our folks are not going to stop self-medicating if we don't wake up. And don't be talking about who she's talking to. I'm talking to you mm -hmm. because our children are going to inherit these negative behaviors. I'm getting ready to go somewhere, Saeed, so give me a minute. 
I tell you, it's summer break. I mean, it's, it's, it's spring break. Our children are out there. Parents, yeah. listen up. Listen up. In D.C., the school system is under the mayor. Are we paying attention? It's all on our radar. We got so much going on, we have to roll it out. But those of you out there that's paying attention and fed up with the way they are introducing your children to God knows what mm. and, and reducing your say, guys, it's time to speak up. Don't get quiet because what's happening to our soldiers is happening across our nation. Yeah. We're going backwards, not forwards. Mm -hmm. The folks with all the power and the money are fighting and grabbing harder to keep you at bay. We started our platform because we wanted them to know mental health matters. Yeah. And what you're doing by keeping these people down, by keeping our people living the way that they are, is not okay. So, Saeed, I thank you. I thank you so much. I was saying about our children being on spring break, and if this is not enough to motivate you to open your mouths out there, we got a community report card on our healthydcme.org website. Tell us what's going on. Yeah. Blow that whistle. It's on my old snitch, snitches, get it, snitches. Look, I got needle and thread. All right? Mm -hmm. Call me and let me know what you're talking about because we need everybody talking. Everybody talking. Nothing wrong with a little stitch. Not where they dog about. <laughs> um, I, I just want you to know I'm I, I, I'm here. But the reality of our children being on spring break and taking a shower at the YMCA, uh, you know, hanging out, doing activities, what children do at the YMCA, and finding themselves in a shower Ooh. with a member of the LBGTQ community with their private part showing that hasn't been uh, reversed yet of a male nature. You tell me how you feel if your child get a whiff of that on spring break. See, I don't have a problem with you living your life. I don't right. have a problem with your choices, but it's not okay to be so irresponsible and negligent that our children inherit. It is not okay that we disregard our children all these entitled lives, everybody matters, everybody's so important. I got a million views. They contact me to tell me if I want to buy some people for uh -oh. my followers. For what? what? For what? We got enough people in our community that should be caring about our issues. And I'm so honored when I can meet brothers like Brother Say. He's been so patient for us out here in PG County. We dropped our bags for a minute and then we was running for mayor. <laughs> and next time he saw me, he's like, wait a minute, what? I got the cameras, what? You know, the block was hot. We had to go, we had to go. But yes. I tell you what, we coming back down that lane and this work, this work is intentional. And we don't wanna do this without you. As a matter of fact, we won't be victorious without you. So we're gonna be bugging you to death out there. That's right. Thank you, Charles. We're gonna be bugging you to death because it's time to go. It's go time. Anytime our veterans in 2023 yeah. have to ask for what they should have already, I personally don't believe anyone fighting a war, anyone yeah. going through that level of trauma should have to come back here and get in line with an average everyday Joe whose freedom that they just finished fighting for. And that's really not a veteran, yeah. not a veteran that has served should have to worry about where they're going to lay their head. Mm -hmm. If you don't care about this kind of stuff, you need to wake up and take your head out the sand because it's time. When we say mental health matters, what we're saying is that it's time for the humanity, for the humanity to come back. It's time to care again. Yeah. Someone broke your heart. You don't have the job you want. You're frustrated because you're living in a community you don't want to live. Whatever your issue is, it does not give you the right. It doesn't give you the right not to be accountable and responsible for your behaviors and become a vile, viable part of the community. I'm sorry, y'all. I get the preaching, but you know, it kills me when we have to beg people to care about our own. Palms mm -hmm. up to our regular palmers out there. Our palms up, crew. We love you guys, and we're asking you to share this feed because this is real talk. There's a rally tomorrow. There's a reason why I'm dragging this out. I want to give you time to get the content if you're joining late. 
Or if you started late like us, phones <laughs> up. <laughs> hey, Saeed, so you're rallying tomorrow. Where are right. you rallying at? We're going to be at um, 251 I Street at 2 o'clock. All right? So I'm going to make sure y'all guys get that again. Um, and I'm, I just want to cut you off again. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm famous for doing that, but I got to get this word out. 251 okay. I Street. I Street, right. Northwest. Northwest. That's gonna right. They're going to be right in front of the VA building. By and, the VA and, building. And, and then do we know what time? 2, 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Does Do they have to register to come and support you all? Should no, they come to you first and you show everybody. up? You're going to be open to everybody. We, we welcome everybody. Now, the, a lot of veterans being told the wrong thing, right? And, and I got to put this out there real quick. Okay. There are veterans who get killed in basic training, all right? A lot of times, veterans think that you got to be in some kind of war. No. Once you sign that, once you sign mm -hmm. your name on that mm -hmm. list, you're entitled. There's veterans who suffer injuries, life-threatening injuries. That's veterans who will get injured, their knee, ankle, feet, foot, mind, in basic training. <clears throat> you are entitled still to get your 100% even if you got hurt in basic training. There's two things that's happening. Now they're taking soldiers who are National Guard, and reserve. Why? They get paid less. They go through hell getting their money. You enlisted, you got a good thing. But if you're enlisted, I suggest you take everything back to basic training. That's where it starts from. Those boots, those those workout. Do you know how many men now have hearing problems? I have mm -hmm. I've suffered with double vision because I have two head injuries, two head injuries. Understand something, you doing exercise, you hurt your rotor cuff. At 17 years old, when you get 30, 40, 50, that injury stays with you for life. So when mm -hmm. you go to the hospital, they go, well, it's because you're getting old. Tell them no. That injury happened to me when I was 17 years old, 18 years old, 19 years old, whatever age it is. Don't fall for that. Well, you're getting old. So our, our rally tomorrow is all about serving all veterans. Now, like you said, when we out there training to defend this country, there's some of us, and I don't know if y'all remember, as an old person like me, I remember when the military was segregated. Yeah. So yeah when when you understand that philosophy is still here today. Yeah. They don't wish for men by complexion being in the military. They will take a woman before they take a man. Yeah. Majority of the military females is higher. The only population that is not higher is the white male. Every race, except for the Caucasian, uh -huh. my Caucasian brothers and sisters, the women in all categories is higher than the men category. So what does that tell you? Now, again, we are out there and we will be out there advocating for women as well. I'll say this and I'll say it with all my heart. Women veterans catch it worse than any man veteran. Mm. Thumbs they up to our women vets out there. Thumbs up to all of our vets, but most importantly, sending a special one to our women. Why is it that you are saying that they catch it the worst. What has your observation been about that? First of all, you got to understand that the women are the first teacher. How can a woman teach if she herself is going through a whole bunch of mental issues, physical, emotional issues, financial issues? She don't mm -hmm. have 
a woman. She mm. gonna, like a woman. All right. So how's she gonna deal with a man who has the same issues? Mm. She a woman. She gonna be a slave, or she gonna get hurt. She gonna wind mm. up dead. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So you got all these issues going on out here. So the mm. woman who is the first teacher and she's young or she's middle-aged or she's older woman, they still have to understand that they are a woman. Women do not get the proper personal needs in the military. Wow. Mm. Speak, Speak. What does wow. that tell you? So now you, you're talking about women have to have a, a, a special place in society. So them being a woman on the sexual harassment, it don't have to be a touch. It could be a word. It could be a proposal. How many women get tired of constantly, yo, baby, how mm -hmm. you doing? Mm -hmm. Yo, baby, how you feel? Not, you know what I'm saying? So difference, it's a different thing. Now, this is very, very important. Very, very important. That veteran who do not get the support, and we're uh -huh. talking about the family don't get the support, uh -huh. they're no longer a veteran, they're civilians. So now you got another civilian going through mental issues. Uh, that's deep. So that's you're deep, building, you're building, You're building a community that's not being productive because you didn't take care of that one veteran. Yes. So that woman veteran, you don't take care of that woman veteran and she's giving birth. Mm. So she's producing what? Mm. Is she producing Life. something that's going to be beneficial to the community? Life. You know Life. what I'm saying? So now, yeah. you, so the issues is greater than, oh, well, veteran is getting too much. No. Not at all. And watch this. You know what's so cool about what you said? It, it falls right in line with what we've been saying all along. If our women, who are traditionally the backbone, the nurturers, our men need to have that stability in their life so that they stay on track, our children look to them for their nurturing, our communities need them. You know, we have to keep our women supported and whole because in the African American community, typically the woman is the backbone, nothing taken away from my man. My men are our providers, our protectors. There's a role for everybody, but traditionally in the community, when you see things broken down the way that they have been, we don't have no big mamas out there on duty. You know what it looked like when big mama speak up? Even daddy get home earlier, you know, when big mama put her foot down. So Saeed, that's some real talk. So what you're saying is even our military is guilty of not taking care of our women. And we're going to give them that knowledge about the walk. But you're dropping some pearls here. And I thank you for stopping by the platform. I want to talk to you about a couple of things. You know what's interesting? I think that a lot of people assume that just like the blue shield of the police, mm. that with the military, there's some sort of, you know, invisible uh, connection. And just because you're a soldier, you wouldn't be experiencing or exposed to any level of discrimination or, or not getting what you need or reduced to having to come out here and sleep in the street and beg for what should have already been waiting for you mm. when you got off that boat or that plane. Palms mm. up to our military and our soldiers out there. What you say about that? What, 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 you know, is there some sort of invisible shield that connects soldiers across the borders? And, you know, talk to me. Well, again, we want to applaud you for that question. Um, it's a very good question because it all depends on your community. It all depends on the person you are. Um, majority of our police forces of being found out to be white supremacists, right? Yeah, yeah. A um, majority of our DAs and elected yes. officials are now are being brought up as white supremacists, right? Mm -hmm. So when you talk about that, that silence of we all green and we all blue, we know that that is what's said. But again, we talk about the equality. So again, Absolutely. when we go back to the GI Bill, 
GI Bill was made for veterans to get education and homes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So when you sure say enough. education homes equal to this individual who are separate, who don't want you in their community, they mm -hmm. don't want you living next to them, they don't even mm -hmm. want you shopping where they are, they don't want you mm -hmm. going to the church, mm -hmm. they don't want you driving no car better than mm -hmm. theirs, they don't want you dressing better than them, they don't want you looking, and they definitely don't want you to be in the same swimming pool. Mm -hmm. So when you're talking about things like that, is it a green thing? It's only, it's been reported. Well, yeah. let me, let me, let me do some homework here because what we do know, and all fairness to all of our palms up viewers, because we know we got folk that look like us and folk that don't look like us. And mm -hmm. what I've realized in my research, and I've realized you're speaking to that supremacy understanding, that entitlement understanding, but we know there were many of our brothers and sisters and cousins from another mother that stood up with King. There are many human mm -hmm. beings that just mm -hmm. don't like the reality. Mm -hmm. so, I, hold on one minute for you. So I just want to make sure we are fair because if we are not being responsible for our children to understand, mm -hmm. then we're going to pass this down. Yes, do we have a problem with discrimination, racism, and the understanding of, of black and white? Yeah, but the conversation is broader because I think the black folk have dropped a few classes with all this migration. Come on <laughs> and talk to me. Well, uh, again, I, I, I agree with you. Claps to you. Um, first of all, we come we come to love. We 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 are we are joining hands with anybody and yeah. everybody who is Palms good, up to and, that. right? Who is good, right? So we understand the abolition movement. We understand mm -hmm. that there was people who were not my complexion died fighting mm -hmm. their family who tried to hang my ancestors, right? So we understand today you still have some good people. So we mm -hmm. understand. Evil have no complexion. That's Evil right. No That's right. Evil have no nation, right? So yeah. what we're That's saying right. to you is let us join together. If you mm -hmm. are this ship not turned around, will go off this edge. There are people who rather for the ship to go off this edge than to say, let's get together. There are mm -hmm. people out here now, if there was aliens coming to this earth and say we're going to eat every human being, there are people who will say, don't eat me, I will point you. Yes, absolutely. Well, history, wow. history has taught us that. We read that book already. I believe that's how we got over our ancestors. So we read that book already. History has taught us that there's always going to be a sellout. Um, and the truth of the matter is, is that that's why it's important now more than ever that in our communities, we stop looking to government to have all the answers mm -hmm. because we're setting ourselves up. We're telling them it's okay to get involved in our life. And I know, Lord, when I just said that, I sounded like <laughs> the Republican. <laughs> and I'm nobody Republican. I am a staunch soldier and nothing wrong with folks that are. I'm just saying that. That's why it's important not to put so much on a, uh, a, a political party as it is mm -hmm. to, to look at the principles of what's being discussed. Because when we're being real, at the end of the day, we're all humans and none of us want to yeah. live in communities that are not safe. None of us want our children to go with lesser than. None of us want to see, uh, I'd like to believe, none of us want to see our veterans or anybody in the street. So the truth of the matter is, is that we got to get away from this politics thing. They keep talking about, oh, D.C. is a Democrat, and then they run around uh -huh. so proud. We a Democrat. We the Democrat Party. I've been doing this for 40 years. I've been in charge of. And so the first thing I say is, oh, so we have you to blame mm -hmm. for 40 years mm -hmm. of these communities looking the way they look at. Why do you brag on having a title when you turn around and look at the reality of what the community looks like when you hear these guns going off and, and you see our veterans sleeping yeah. in the street. You got agencies that are just as just as relevant as yours, Saeed, and mine, but you think they're going to make a donation? But you let that other one call them up on the phone and catch them at the right time, and they're going to, oh, I gave, yeah. I'm going to give, I, you know, mm -hmm. just so that they can feel good about themselves. 
that dollar will work much harder and go much further in your community. Yeah. There's, there's, and it's time uh, to come to the table. Come on, Saeed. Uh, again, again, you, you make a very good point, and I applaud you again. Uh, I, I just want to echo what you just said, that money. Um, well, we understand how important that money is. And that's why you have a certain group of people who want to control that money. That, that money can make families. So that if that money makes family divide, that money gonna make a community divide. So again, mm -hmm. we have to look at how that money is being distributed to com communities. All right. We gotta look at how there's some communities you go to certain cities and it looks like a third floor. Because mm -hmm. why? Because community and these people are my white brothers and sisters. So mm -hmm. when the white brothers and sisters are being told that it's me, people like me are stopping them from getting jobs. It's people like me are stopping them from getting jobs and money and wealth. But they don't understand the same people are telling you that these are the same people who want you going to a coal mine. These are the same people for years who haven't put money in your community and benefit. So you are hurting just like me. So we need to join hands together and say, good politicians. Yes. For us. Yes. Bad politicians. Yes. Because yes. we are the government. We are Hashtag, the people of the look, government. Saeed, hashtag recall. Hashtag repeal. And we're going to do this. Let's just start educating our folks. Yes. that they don't have to wait for in two years to vote. If they're not doing the job they're supposed to do, let's mount up. And get them up out of there. Let's let them know that we want to return that office to public service about the people. And that's why we ran for office. That's why Healthy DC stood behind my run because the work we're doing is important. Right now, it's about us. Right now, we need yeah. empowerment. Right now, our children need to know that their future is protected. Right now, they need to know we're standing in the gap so they can stand and walk over us to get where they got to go. Right now is when we start being accountable for our behaviors. We stop with the violence against one another. We stop putting each other down. We get ourselves healthy and we start supporting our neighborhood groups and coming together and having voting parties to find out who these jokers are, myself included. I heard you out there. You didn't know who I was. I get it. I still had to run. You'll yeah. catch up. You'll catch up. We have to have a pony in the race if we're going to change this thing. And yeah, we have to be able to call a thing a thing. So these false prophets in our community that are using their 40 and 30 and 20 and 15 years of status, mm -hmm. but been selling out at every turn, they got to go. They're dangerous to our children and they're dangerous to the growth and the prosperity that you and all of our soldiers and all of our families deserve. Come on, Saeed. Well, that's why you have to win this race. That's why we're going to be out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, son, it's killing me not to talk that's, politics. That's you know, we're building that's in that's the background. Brilliant. I had to come back to my passion, which is talking yeah. to my people. But when we looked at the numbers, Saeed, we don't need yeah. a magician. We don't need to fool the people. We need to just go out and raise our voices louder because we already yeah. out here talking, already out here dodging the bullets to go in the community, save a family, save a life, already sacrificing to give somebody a job or an opportunity yeah. so they can come out of that space that has them feeling so depressed or lesser than. Already out here standing, standing as the consistent, responsible and accountable leaders that we are. So this is nothing new for us. It's for our folks that stuck on social media on their phones with all that stuff and all this and all your fame and all your glory and ain't doing nothing to help your community. And when it comes time to vote, you the one pulling that level to put these people back in office. I know it's you because you wanted to keep your job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know, girl. I know, Joe. I know, Tamika. The buck stops with you. Our veterans are sleeping in the street. Tomorrow is April the 5th, down at 251 I Street Northwest, over near the VA building at 2 p.m. Now, what does that mean? 
That means for all my folks that like to get it in at night, don't like to get up early morning uh -huh. or whatever it is, my folk who know now to take a late lunch break to do something different. You said in January, you're going to do something different. You said during the pandemic, you cared about your mankind and, and you wanted to do better. Lord, just get us through and we're going to do better. You said you was busy last week and now you're busy this week. When are you going to come out and help the cause? See, our ancestors knew to meet in the churches and in the backwood bushes, yeah, yeah. cut their feet off, cut their head off, they're going to hop to the meeting. Yeah. You don't stop the movement. Mm -hmm. Keep pushing. And we're still pushing and we're pushing for our children, which makes it very worth it. Saeed, I'm so honored that you would take time out of all that you do out here to stop at the platform and to validate the concerns and to uplift the understanding that it's going to take us all and that the issues going on with our veterans, much like the issues going on with our housing, much like the issues going on in our educational system, much like the issues with the failure of our public safety, should I keep going, much like the issues with you not getting the comprehensive resources you need. Guys, that's politics. They're not motivated to see the lives that you live change. And what you've got to understand is your power, your power in understanding that you elect them. So don't be coming up to me talking all this Democrat, oh, you're independent. Absolutely, uh -huh. I'm an independent. Absolutely. In 2012, I had had it. I had had it. Mm -hmm. Obama came on 60 Minutes and God bless him. He got in there. I'm not knocking him. I'm just keeping it 100 because we got to pass this kind of information on to our children. Yeah. After all that stuff, and I jumped on that bus, many of us we went to Richmond and knocked on doors of Ohio or Virginia, wherever the swing states were. They needed help. Mm -hmm. He had us all. He had us at go. We needed change. I support it. But the reality is that, can we talk? Yes, sir. The reality is that in 2012, he did an interview on 60 Minutes apologizing. We losing our houses, the foreclosure scene. We got short memory span and people bank on that. Not people in Obama, people, period. America, period. Everybody knows that the black person is emotional, wears their heart on their sleeve. Yeah. All they got to do is tell you a good story. And that's, it. and that's all it takes to dupe you. Guys, it's time to pay attention. Pay attention like you never have before. Get involved like you never have before because your children deserve that. What does your legacy look like out there? Are we using these words daily? Saeed, down tomorrow, we're fighting for veterans' rights. Can you talk to us a little bit about the paper you have in front of you? Right. Again, we honor Sergeant Whitney and thousands who have died before their paperwork was even approved. So we, the veterans, we have a choice. Basically, we can support and take action and demand that our benefit, our compensation be given, or the choice is you can wait and die begging. Mm. So that's what the whole problem is. There is a strategy of delay, delay until they are dead. That's a strategy. Wow. But that's a scheme wow. that allows many veterans and their family to go without the support that is needed for decent living. So when a veteran don't, don't receive all the support and benefit and compensation they earn, everyone loses. Everyone loses. So this picture that when veterans get the support, them and their family and their community, everybody wins. So like yeah. you said, Doctor, what we have to do is on that election day, any election day, for one minute, one hour, stop twerking so much, stop drinking up, stop dicing, stop, stop doing what we read do. books, Go excuse you. You play golf, excuse you. What you talking about? Follows <laughs> up on with you. You're right. Stop that twerking and vote. Um, you know who you are. Stop talking about your children are listening. That's irresponsible. Hey, Saeed, anything else we need to know about the rally tomorrow? 
Well, um, y'all can get in contact with me. Um, um, my office number, 240-455-0096, 455-0096. Again, that's area code 240-455-0096. We got a couple other things coming up. Um, June the 10th, we're going to be doing um, run in, um, at, on the mall. We're setting that up today. We're also going to be setting up um, a march. Um, again, before a week before Memorial Day. So hopefully we can come back and discuss that as well with you. We'd love to see you. Again, we're going to be definitely supporting what you're doing. I encourage and I challenge each and everybody out there on social media, repost everything Dr. is doing, repost all the things. And make sure you guys take a moment, moment to come out there, vote for her. Make sure you guys take a moment to register. We're going to be doing some major registrations. We'd like to get with you as well to get those registrations, get those people out there, those young people who the first time going to vote. Let's get them out there. Let's get some of the twerkers out there. We want to twerk. Hey, come twerk I love it. You know, what you I'm know it takes all time. You know we yeah, need everybody. Yeah, and, yeah. and I so want to thank you. There. You know, you have to be our first guest that has come on and deliberately let them know that you're standing with the doc. We got four mm -hmm. years before we do this again, and you already mm -hmm. ready. And I love that. And what they need to understand, please tell my military families that I am one of them. I, oh. I so stand with you all. I do not yeah. like the games that are being played politically, and that is why I'm in the race. It's time for some hometown flavor that's going to truly go down there and give it to them. And I'm not going by myself. I'm taking my military family with me, taking my mamas with me taking my brothers with me, my children, my youngest. I'm telling you, I'm taking my mamas with me, taking my seniors with me. I'm taking my cousins from another mother with me, yeah. taking some Republicans and we're taking some Democrats because yeah. it's not about yeah. party anymore. Yeah. People yeah. across this great city, DMV, I should say, are fed up. Yeah. They're fed yeah. up with the games that have been played with the money and the politics. Human life is at stake. It's not okay. And you know what happens in sports? When they fumble the ball, somebody else picks it up and scores, right? Well, our city is fumbling right now. And I happen to like playing football. So let's go. Let's go. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. It's Saeed. That's Saeed with In the Community, CEO of In the Community in Prince George's County. Stop by the Palms Up platform to show some love. For us, his vets, our families, to give us some education. Guys, they're rallying tomorrow. What Saeed is talking about, if you came on late, many of us, if not in our family, our friend's family, or not too far uh, in our circle, uh, we know vets that when they come home and they're filing for their benefits, what Saeed is talking about is the importance of standing in yeah. unison to make sure our vets get their just due. Isn't fighting for the country, isn't given your life or prepared to give your life enough. And what does that cost? What is the value of that? Should the value of that be you coming home to sleep in the streets? Absolutely not. They got it twisted down there. And if you don't have a reason to vote or if you didn't have a reason to vote before, you get yourself together and get ready to help get our people out of the street. That's what you do. And if you don't believe in it, you do it anyway. You do it anyway, because we're asking you to. And we all come from the same spaces and the same places. And we want our children, our children to be upheld. But that won't happen if we don't come down the lane and burn it up. Palms up. All right, tomorrow I know where I'll be at 2 p.m. I'll be joining you guys, Saeed. I have no idea what I have on the calendar, but there are times when we just have to take a stand. So I'm sure I can call a few folks and move some appointments around because it's important. It's important that we show up for you and that we show up for each other. So please let our brothers and sisters know that we are coming to support. I'm asking all of you out there, palms up to you. If you're about your word, I'd appreciate if you would share this. Share it so folks across the DMV can understand. Let's send a mighty roar down on I Street tomorrow. Let's let them know that we stand in solidarity with our military community. 
me being a military brat from the hood. Go figure, palms up. Hey, Saeed, Saeed, you the man, you the man. Thanks so much in the community. You're the queen, you're the queen. You're the queen. We honor the queen and your co worker. We appreciate everything <laughs> y'all doing. That's <laughs> right. Y'all keep it up. You too, Peace King. We stand with you. We're going to do this. God bless you. Hey guys, hey guys, just like that, just like that, we have gone over. Sometimes we're going to do that. Um, our platform is going to be changing soon, so we're not even going to be live all the time. You're going to start to see some of our content on demand and on MITV, and you guys are going to be able to trust me. Do me a favor and close that camera off. I'm sorry, we, you know, we ain't got there yet, so we still doing the Zoom action. Um, and I want you guys to know that. We are going to be moving around a lot in the next yeah. couple of weeks. We're off schedule, of course, you know, because nothing comes before the community work. Nothing comes before the community work. And so what I need you guys to understand is that what Saeed stopped by the platform to talk about is real. It's real. I know you know. You don't need me to tell you that. Many of our service members are not only fighting for their benefits, but while they're doing so, as you heard Saeed say, they're dying, sis. Yeah. They're yeah. dying. Yeah. Many of them are self-medicating. We know about it. Mm -hmm. Many of them are sleeping in the street. Some of them are so conflicted that they are committing acts that they wouldn't normally do. And I'll let you define what that looks like. How would you be in survival mode after fighting for your country? And now I'm coming home and got to find out mm -hmm. that you got to get in line with everybody else. It's just not acceptable. And I was talking to someone the other day. What is the American dream these days? If people can't buy houses I'm and find sustainable here. careers, you can't go in the military and serve your country and come home feeling like the hero that you should. You come home and you trade places with someone else low on the totem pole in the food line or food chain i should say guys palms up out there we talking about some real stuff we don't bring this to you to be morbid but we've got to get educated everything can't be fun every time they want to hide something from us they throw us a party or they bring some <laughs> entertainment to town every time guys pay attention it's by design it's been going on for years and if you think you think because they look like you and i that they're not going to subscribe to that kind of politics or politics as they say mm, 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 mm. you better wake up your babies are depending on you hey my women hey my women palms up palms up hey my soldiers hey my soldiers palms up to you guys tonight was a very interesting episode of palms yeah. up we wanted to talk to you about addiction but that's okay that gives you a head start for next week get mm. all your folks to the platform because i know you know some folks because i know some folks right mm. addiction is huge in our community and it's turning that tearing it down each week we commit to bringing you content that mindfully will make a difference. Gotta talk about it, yeah. right? Gotta have these hard discussions because that election cycle is gonna roll around again and we gotta get ready. And I don't care who you choose because I'm not in this race. <laughs> I don't care who you choose, but what I do care about is that you start getting the habit of being accountable for showing up. So get your babies together, get your little electronic toys or whatever you got to do. All my little mamas with the second and third generation children, you too. Get yourself in line to vote. You ain't too cute and you ain't got too much going on. And you're not that young that you don't know that you're supposed to vote. And if nobody told you, Miss Rhonda's telling you, it's time to make a conscious decision to be a viable citizen because you're needed. Everybody has a role to play. To my brothers on the corner, you need it. Yeah. Everybody has a role to play in the community. How about we practice stop letting people come into our communities tearing us down? Mm. How about we stand together and decide that not another child in our community will be sexually abused? How about if you're the one that stands on the other side of that and you're the abuser, how about you wake up and decide tomorrow morning you're going to go get you some help before we have to come help you get some help? Yeah. How about you make a conscious decision to be a resource in your community. And if you already are, palms up to you. You know, we get all bent eyes. I'm already doing that. I'm a, okay, okay, we're happy to hear that. But this message is for people that are not. And folks that know better are supposed to do better. Palms up. 
All right, guys, I've been preaching, I've been preaching, but we want to make up because, you know, this, this technology been beating us up. Oh my but the palms up shop been on the air almost three years at the end of this year. Yes, it oh, has. Yes, it has at the end of this year. And I know it's been a journey because, mm. you know, yeah, yeah, what we sipping? Let's see, let's see what we start. Welch's sparkling non-alcoholic red grape juice <laughs> cocktail. Uh-huh, that's how we doing it. We want you guys to know that you don't always have to have some substance to turn up. That yeah. substance is doing something to your body, and we're going to talk about it next week. I know you're stressed out there. I get it. I get yeah. it. Ain't nothing like a nice beer or cocktail, but I'm just trying to tell you guys it's time to do things in moderation because we're yeah. dying. Simple as that. We're dying. Yeah. We're not on top of our mental health. We're not on top of our physical health. Our communities suffer from asthma. Our communities are suffering from high blood pressure. Our communities are suffering from poor grocery stores, poor mm -hmm. hospitals, and we had black leadership. Whoa, arms mm -hmm. up. Did she just say that? Yes, she did. Mm -hmm, guys, it's time to stop leaning on government for everything and take back your power. They want you to make that call so they can prove that they need the money that they will not use to take care of you properly. Mm -hmm. Did you hear me? We need and we demand comprehensive systems of care. So last week when we closed out, we closed out with our non-alcoholic to show you that we can to adopt different habits. Yeah. I'm just naturally goofy. I'm just naturally, <laughs> you know, I'm just naturally who I am. And some people say, uh-oh, uh-oh, I might be arrogant. Really take another look and get to uh -oh. know me. All right? Stop hating. <laughs> No, people get confused when you don't talk their language. You know, you hear relationships that they say they don't talk the same love language. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I, I know I'm an A personality. Some men can't deal with A personality women, but that's good. You're not married to me. You don't have to deal with me. You just have to work in the community and help us do this work. Yeah. It is not about me. I promise you. When my mama, God rest her soul, Miss Regina Fleming, a matriarch for my mother's keeper, who started all of this, when she sat down and told me, that I could share our story and that mm -hmm. she stood with me in doing so and that she was actually proud that I would want to embrace it. I didn't need anybody else's approval or judgment, not even the members of my family. This is a journey. Mental health comes with stigma. Sometimes you have to step out on faith yeah. because sometimes the people closest to you will hurt you. Palms up. And it's about your journey to help and getting healed. Guys, I wanna give some shout outs. All of us know some veterans out there. I remember there was a time when we went over to, what is it, we, uh, uh, Iraq, when we went over there for Saddam Hussein the first time. Oh, yeah. And I had about five or six family members that are military, all in different branches. And so I wanna take the time to shout them up. We don't talk, shout them out. We don't talk that often, but I want you to know, just like you, you got many, many military, family, friends, neighbors, and we want to shout you guys out. Tomorrow, if you're not doing anything at 2 p.m., come join the rally. Let's, let's pick a, a moment to draw the line in the sand to say enough is enough. Haven't you seen enough death? Haven't we been on the street, on the sideline, professing about what needs to happen? Show up. Why don't you? Your girl will be there. 2 p.m. tomorrow, 251 I Street Northwest. Uh, what we'll probably do is put a link or something on our website, or you can send us a message on the feed or a DM and let us know you're interested and that you'll be out there to support us, guys. Sometimes you just have to stand up. Stand up. Shout out to LaShawn Mars, my beautiful cousin, LaShawn Mars, veteran and beautiful queen that you are. Shout out to Irvin Hamilton. Shout out to Anthony Spriggs, Xavier Spriggs, Derek Hamilton, Benjamin Hamilton. And shout out to your son. G. Kelly, mm. yeah. A.G.A.G., our soldiers out there. We just wanted to show you guys some love and let you know, all of you know, that we stand with you and we want you guys to get what you deserve for protecting our freedoms. And we don't want you to pass away while waiting for your benefits because of the political system that you find yourself a part of. But guys, it's real out in these streets and on the Palms Up platform, we're going to give it to you real. And it may not mm. always be pretty, but it's going to be real. How about that? Thumbs up. We got a wonderful show planned for you guys next week. Thanks for those of you that hung in here with us. It's 8.38. I think we can officially shut this mother down. Oh, we're late. Listen. We're late. But it's all good. Hey, guys, I want you to cut yourself some music on. Uh, I like yours truly is doing for us. 
I want you to find your sparkling red grape juice cocktail, <laughs> if that's what does it for you. You might even drink some aquafina, but I really truly want you guys to intentionally start to take a stand and do something different. We're here. We'll catch you. We'll stand with you. Just give us a call. All right. Hey, Tasha. Hey, Tasha. Shout out. I couldn't dare get out of here on April 5th without shouting out her I versus me transformation, which I truly will be joining because I'm ready to get me back. I've been running all over, <laughs> taking care of everybody else, stomping, stomping. I was little. And then I blew up again in the pandemic. Like, this is so much is going on. But guess what? I'm still running. Hey, 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 still Rhonda. That's right, guys. Hey, here's to you out there, guys. Every day that he wakes us up is an opportunity to celebrate. Celebrate you, get into some new stuff. We're going to talk about some meditation and yoga and other things that you can do to deal with the challenges. You don't have to self medicate. You don't have to get on those, what they call them, Sherman sticks back in the day, the PCP and the cigarettes. Mm, what I know about that, I've read it, I've read it. Did you know it's a new drug on the street called zombies? We're going to talk about it. I bet the kids can tell you about it. All right, all right. Hold on to one another until we see one another again and one another again. And next Tuesday, we're going to make every effort to be here on time. But if we not, give us the benefit of the doubt. We on our way. <laughs> That's so silly. That we on our way. But really, being mental health advocates in the community, you can't shut mental health off. And sometimes our folks need that extra time. So guys, hey guys, we love you. Thanks for hanging in there with us. Sorry for being late. But we're going to get our hour in because we got some real word to talk about. Cheers to you guys. You got anything you want to say before we get out of here over here? Don't forget, an hour a day. Let it be your me time to unwind. Love you. All right, all right. Yeah. <laughs>